Peace. What's good? It's your brother God Science up in here once again. Shout out, special salute to the few that do watch the video. Subscribe. Uh, just want to talk quick about this blackface madness. And, um, you, know, you know, some people ask me, well, I don't lie. Some people, one person asked me, one person asked me, because you know I'm a small channel and I get no views. Niggas always remind me of that shit. You get you don't get no views, so. but I don't give a shit. I'm gonna just keep making videos. But I like doing it. It's fun. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And um, this blackface thing. Now, I saw a live stream done by Sonetta. I saw a live stream done by Polite. Then I saw a live stream done by Sonetta again. And um, to be fair, I haven't watched the whole first. You know the PowerPoint that uh you know brother polite did um basically defending um floyd mayweather and um i so i can't sit up here and say he's wrong even though the reputation of polite you know y'all see my videos um with the alleged scamming and shit anytime i hear his name that comes up and that's i think for a brand that's real fucked up but, um, you know, so I, ha I can't really say that. But what I can say is this. You know, black people kill me, man, because they get so offended when white people do shit. But when another brother does something, we let it happen. And what I mean by that, this is, is in no way, shape or form saying that shit is cool. All right. You know, something about me, I love old school movies. I'm not talking about 70s and 80s. I'm talking about 40s. Sometimes the early 30s. TCM is one of my favorite channels. Ever since I was a kid, I always loved um, like black and white movies, uh, especially the gangster ones. James Cagney, um, you know Humphrey Bogart, people like that. George um, George Raff. Y'all might not even know who the fuck I'm talking about, but I'm a movie buff when it comes to old school movies like that. And so I got, you know, to see blackface close up. You know, the parts we played in those movies, dancing, your sword, kissing up to the master. Oh, master, you stressed, huh? And we, we're crying and going crazy because of, it's like I used to hate like that looking at that shit like, oh, my God, they had us like beast, you know. But I'm not surprised, you know, when you got senators or uh, governors, who the hell he, he is in Virginia, showing pictures of him. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say people can't change from being young in college and their views change. I can't say that. But you have to prove that to me. You have to show me that, you know, your policies is not like that and you have grown or something. So I'm not going to say people can't change. But I am not surprised of this shit. You know, Megan Kelly or whatever the fuck her name doing blackface and her show being canceled. You know, she she should know better the history. It's just it's like a white person saying nigga. Now they'll be like, Well y'all saying in y'all raps. Well, you know, you said that name, you know, I love the line in Malcolm X in his movie in, uh, in the movie when he said, I've been I was called nigga so much I thought it was his, uh, his, our name his name well black people imagine your ancestors being in that feeling also being called nigga all day and that shit just going through your blood and your veins and passing down your dna are you really surprised that we call each other niggas really maybe it's a uh you know the it has negative very negative when it comes to that name and white people but when we say it we flipped it you know, we flipped it. I don't like saying it, I, I, especially I don't say it around my grandmother and shit like that. I say it because mostly because of hip hop, because it was all over hip hop. And me being a producer and loving hip hop, I started saying it. But I heard P Panic talk about things about that name, and it's fucking divine. And I, and I believe that, that energy, I know what he's talking about. That's why we say it. But now, anybody's a nigga. I have seen Chinese people calling each other niggas. I've seen white people, white boys calling each other nigga, if they, especially in hip hop culture. All right? Everybody says it. So, you know, white people get real surprised when we, um, you know, who the fuck are y'all to tell us 
if we can't if you you know if you say it is different it's like me saying uh some type of german slang for the shit that happened in, with the uh, with the jews the holocaust that i'm talking about and then a the german saying it i think it's going to have more effect when a german say it the point is this stop being surprised when these people do this shit they always have they always will you see technology is fooling y'all yeah it's making y'all think that the human humanity as a whole is evolving and no no we're not we're getting worse you know we still got motherfuckers out here with, with picket signs talking about we hate niggas and we hate jews and we still focus on people's the color of their skin the the human mind if you study i mean think it's things that we don't even know about consciousness and your consciousness have to be very fucking small to constantly be focusing on that what you're willing to fight in is anyway the whole point is this i wasn't surprised you know but let me ask black people this when these white when white people do these things i seen you know the black face and they got the watermelon in their hand and shit do black people really like watermelon i like watermelon do black people like watermelon? When we have the picnics and barbecues, do we buy watermelon? For one, a lot of people bought watermelon, black people, because it was cheap and it was big. It could feed a lot of people. And it's actually good for you. Fried chicken. Does black people like fried chicken? If y'all anybody of y'all want to be smart and disagree with me, I'll do an experiment right now. I'll go park up at the best wing spot and down right here. In FLA, in in the best wing spot, and I'll sit there and tape it for probably three hours and watch and see who goes in and comes in. We love the fuck out of some chicken, fried chicken. I've heard, you know, I don't know if it's true, but I've heard of when the slaves escaped, they was that's how the snack box got invented with the apple in it and the fried chicken because it lasts long. So that shit, and I've even heard Bobby Hammond said it has like a spiritual touch. And I believe that because black people like some fried chicken. That shit will make you feel good. Now, are we supposed to be eating that shit every day? Are we supposed to be eating? No. But come on. There's what white people, I'm not saying white people and other people don't like it. They do too. The point is this. When they throw this stuff in our face and we get so offended, it's like, are we just sitting around eating fried chicken and watermelon all day? No. What the fuck does it mean? You know, what does it mean? Two, why the fuck do we really care? Three, why are we surprised? You know, this is what they do. And the sad thing is, in the in the hood right now, blackface ain't the problem. We're becoming pro the problem to ourselves. You have, you know, I made a video talking about, uh, you know, black people, black women having certain attitudes toward, maybe it's just towards me, I don't know, no, nah, not what the comments say, but she wrote, well, you know, the, the, the brothers be having the, the, the attitudes too, and she's absolutely right. You have black men out here just, they get up in the morning and it's like, who can I, you know, what other black dude I could fuck with? What other black dude I could fuck with? You know, this is what these niggas is doing. This is what these niggas is doing. So, you know, you got a uh, a fucking big ass, you know, you go into the store, you got some dudes hanging on the side. You're like, peace, peace, brother. What's up, brother? And, you know, they're grilling you down. They're ready to fight and shit. They don't even fucking know you. You know, why we don't have fucking outrages about that? You know, the play hating and the, and the shit that's killing our community. The crabs in the barrel, all this shit. Why don't we have outrages and people speak out more because of that? No. But as soon as the white man puts the the, uh, the, the face on, now y'all want to boycott. Y'all ain't going to boycott shit. If y'all do, y'all only going to do it for a week or so. I'm just sorry to say. You know, because there's been a lot of brands that came out and, you know, did some slick shit. You know, Gucci sales won't be where it was if it is. It was always a high end brand, but of course, rappers, us, the biggest, the biggest consumers, we push that shit. But we can't even get together to say, you know what, we all ain't gonna fuck with Gucci, and that shit is gonna plummet. And other companies gonna be like, look, man, we can't be doing this shit, even though we know how they fucking think. You know what I mean? But fuck that. We create our own brands. You know, and that's why, you know, I'll give shout outs to dudes like Sean John and 
people like that to create their own brands and and big up their own brands instead of you know fucking with these you, you know but anyway nothing's gonna really change because half of the do people out here don't give a shit you got dudes going to strip clubs throwing like fifty thousand you know it's your money do what you want but you know what that can do for someone's life? Nobody's saying don't go to the strip club and have fun. But at the same time, you know, don't waste. Man, you could go out go out to a grocery store and just pass out money to strangers. Here, help just to help, you know, just to help with you, help with your uh, your groceries and shit. This is the shit what I would do if I was fucking a millionaire like that. I don't be in no goddamn strip club, you know, throwing money up in the now. Ladies out there, please don't hate me because I know the girls in the strip club, they want that money and they need it and they work. I get it. But, you know, there's, uh, you know, it's more better things we could do with it. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying, man. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm going to be back up with a video after I watch those videos and analyze it and play Inspector Gadget and see what I think, what Polite said and, and all that. Because to be honest, sometimes I just take a break from this YouTube streets because that shit could get real, you know, annoying. And you got to take a break sometimes. But thank you guys for watching. Um, what y'all think about blackface? And, the, you know, is there going to be any boycott? Let me know what y'all think. Or y'all just think I'm full of shit. Let me know if y'all think that or anything. Peace, y'all.